after the death of King Solomon and after King Solomon had lost favor, his son called the Oboam took over from him and was installed as a king at a place called Shechem. Then Jeroboam had on the installation of Rehoboam as a king. Jeroboam went into hiding from King Solomon in Egypt. He came back. Then, together with the elders, they went to King Rehoboam. Told him, King, we want you to lighten the burden on our shoulders. We want you to kupunguza mziko kwa wananchi wako ili tukupende zaidi. Then Rehoboam told them, go and come back after three days. Rehoboam went to the elders who were advising his father King Solomon. Ask them, what do I tell my people? They want me to remove the yoke, the burden, from them. Then the elders told him, please, go and help your people. Tell them, do unto them what they want. Remove the yoke from their shoulders. Rehoboam ignored and went to his peers, his age mates, and told them the same thing. Then he, his statements misadvised him. Told him that go and tell the people that your little finger is bigger than your father's waist. That number two, if your father used to beat them with wheels, you will unleash scorpion on them. Kama baba hapa nikuwa kiwa chapa, na mjileli wewe utapeleka ge kwa scorpions and number three if your father was taxing them you, you will overtax them then Rehoboam went and told the people that then God's favor left Rehoboam as was prophesied by a hijack the Shilonite. Therefore, the kingdom of Israel divided into two. The twelve tribes of Israel, ten tribes, the northern kingdom took the Israel kingdom, which was headed by Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. Then the kingdom of Judah, the southern kingdom, was headed by Rehoboam. In other words, God's favor left Rehoboam. Na hapa nchi yetu tunaambia rais before the God's favor imwache kwa sababu tukiangalia kahawa shuru. Ukiangalia majani chai shuru. Tukiangalia maziwa shuru. Tukiangalia unga Shuru. Kila kitu shuru. Kwa hivyo, hivi karibuni, Rehoboa mwakeni ata kwa kiblesi na Jeroboa. Jeroboa. Bishop, umeopea His Excellency Stephen Kaluzo Musioka. Umempaka mafuta hapa. Wale wengine wakikuja wapakwe mafuta, wapie mafuta imeisha, maji yu hiko. Asante kusata, mungu wa wapariki.